you both enumerated um, what this is doing for um, people's pocketbooks uh, and the broader economy, but there is this broad disconnect in what the polls have shown with how Americans feel the um, president's handling the economy. I understand the pandemic and all the drag of, uh, of inflation. At what point does this resonate with Americans, and do you expect they'll ever give credit to the president uh, while he's in office uh, for, for these accomplishments? Well, just speak to the just speaking to the health care provisions of the Inflation Reduction Act. Um, those some are have been recently implemented. The thirty-five dollar uh, cap on insulin, um, the uh, making vaccines for seniors, for shingles and tetanus and other items uh, free. Those have just recently come on board. Um, people will experience lower drug prices from the Medicare and drug negotiation and from other steps we've taken over time. So I have some experience of working on the Affordable Care Act, and it took people a little bit of time, but when people really uh, focused on that um, back in 2017, 2018, uh, people recognized the true benefit and really uh, rose up to defend the law. So uh, we expect, uh, my expectation is that as we implement um, these provisions, as people see in their pocketbooks that they are paying less for prescription drugs for the first time because of the Inflation Reduction Act, they'll make the connection. But we should be really clear that the, the provisions of the Inflation Reduction Act are incredibly popular. I mean, 80% uh, of the American people, 75% of the American people, Democrats, independents, and Republicans support lowering health care costs, uh, support ensuring Medicare can negotiate drug prices and other provisions as well. Um, on the solar manufacturing industry and what's next for that industry, can you share a little bit about what the administration intends to do to build on the tax credits in this legislation, given that the U.S. solar industry is still dependent on foreign supply chains, manufacturers are warning about high interest rates and cheap imports and other headwinds? Well, we first of all, we've seen a boom in solar manufacturing announcements in the United States. Uh, we expect it to, to increase by eight times just between now and next year from the beginning of the administration. Uh, uh, Credit Suisse uh, did an uh, analysis that suggested that 90 percent of uh, solar deployment in the U.S. will be uh, supplied by solar, solar manufactured in the United States, um, solar panels manufactured in the United States. So uh, there are issues with the supply chain, and we're working on those, but we think that the boom in home manufacturing made in America, putting people to work here, is on, the, on its path to resolving that question. And I think that's uh, true. We saw, we saw the massive major announcement of uh, a $2.5 billion plant by Hanwha Q cells uh, in the state of Georgia, as the president liked to likes to say, in Marjorie Taylor Greene's district, which is a full solar supply chain uh, working with a plant that's producing polysilicon in Washington down to producing uh, wafers, ingots, and cells uh, in Georgia. So this is a this is an issue that we are taking cognizance of, and uh, we're doing what we can to support it through uh, grants from the Department of Energy under the bipartisan infrastructure law, through obviously through these uh, ma particularly the manufacturing tax credit, so-called 45X credit, um, and uh, through other policies that we're utilizing to, to reshore and build those products here in America. But I was with the president in uh, Columbia, South Carolina, I guess now three, three four weeks ago, uh, where uh, a company called Enphase, which had invented an important piece of technology for the solar industry uh, called microinverters, uh, was manufacturing those products in Romania, in Mexico, and in China. Now they're coming home, being made in South Carolina, with two other announcements uh, about to come of other places where manufacturing will happen in the United States. 